Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and excuse me, I have a, a bad cold. Um, and this has been a very, very long video to film. Um, frustrating, to say the least. This is an impromptu video, and it was really unplanned. But anyway, welcome to episode, what is it, 9 of season 3 of the Mac Pro series. Brought to you by SellYourMac.com, well, at least made possible by SellYourMac.com. If you go to SellYourMac.com slash RutkMods, sell something, it will help me out. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm not going to run that ad in this episode. It was all unplanned. Anyway, so welcome guys. In today's video, we'll be upgrading my 4.1 flash to a 5.1 Mac Pro to AC Wi-Fi. And... Um, <clears throat> um, low powered Bluetooth uh, with an OSXWiFi.com card which I'm transferring from my 3 comma 1 to this 4 comma 1 and um, I wanted this to just be part of some video coming up but um, it didn't happen uh, the video is too long and too complicated and it took too long to film not to have it as a separate video so I hope you guys enjoy it and needless to say I am really losing my voice and this is really hard to talk but needless, <clears throat> needless to say um, it's very frustrating and I sounded like I had Tourette's during filming so I've edited a lot of that out um, I'm sure a lot of you are probably disappointed in not saying that but it's a family channel um, but yeah it, it was a pain in the butt to do and um, anyway and also, uh, even though I'm using an OSXWiFi.com module, you could use another module um, and do it a lot cheaper than I did. But then again, I bought this module like two, two or three years ago, and it's just been floating in between different systems. So um, that's my justification for it. And right now, my 3 comma ones booting up behind me. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I hope you enjoy today's video and let's get to it. Okay guys, so I don't know what video this uh, is actually going to go into. Uh, but I decided to film this to talk to you guys about my airport situation for my 4 comma 1. Currently we're looking at my 3 comma 1 and what I want to do is finally transfer from the 3 comma 1 to the 4 comma 1 since we've got uh, enough of it upgraded for me to do that. But the 4 comma 1 has a wireless in card in it which uh, does not support um, uh, hand off an airdrop where my 3 comma 1 has an OSXWiFi.com card in it as we can see right here and uh, excuse the dust I haven't dusted this thing out in uh, a number of months but um, it's getting retired soon uh, to a, a leisurely life anyway so um, we're going to be pulling this card out here and this card has been transferred. I've had this card for, oh, going on three years now, I think. I got this in mid-2016 from OSXWiFi.com. It's been a great card. It's from, a, I think, a mid-2014 uh, a, a iMac of some type. And it works great. The thing is transferring this between systems this was first in the 2 comma 1 and then it was in the 3 comma 1 I never filmed transferring it over um, transferring it to a 4 comma 1 on the other hand is going to be a lot more challenging because unlike the 1 comma 1 through 3 comma 1 where the Bluetooth that's built into this card is actually um, being able to be transferred through the uh, um, adapter bus here, uh, the uh, mini PCIe. Um, there's no USB on the 4 comma 1 in that mini PCIe. So to get the Bluetooth to work, which is built onto the card instead of a module like this, um, we have to use these 
uh, cables from osxwifi.com. They do not sell these separately, at least they didn't used to. I think they do now. But uh, when I bought this months ago, they didn't. And I had to prove that I actually bought this card in 2016 before they would even sell it to me. Uh, I think that's why they sell it now, because it was annoying and I complained a little bit, but still. Um, who knows, they might have just decided to do it because it's easier. But anyway, you need these wires to run across the bottom of the 4 comma 1, which we'll show you. Um, so I've got the wire kit to upgrade the 4 comma 1, and this Bluetooth module, which will be going into the 3 comma 1, along with the 4 comma 1's Wi-Fi, because um, I'll just transfer it over to here, like I did with my 2 comma 1, transferring the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth from this to the 2 comma 1. So um, it's being downgraded and upgraded still, so it's interesting. So anyway, we'll set up the uh, Mac Pro, pull the card out, and then we'll show you what the 4 comma 1's um, Wi-Fi setup looks like. Okay, so let's see how well I can film this. There is the OSXWiFi.com's um, module there. So let's hop into the 4 comma 1 and pull that assembly out. And then we'll put the uh, Bluetooth and stuff into this. I'll, I'll do that off camera. That's not anything special. It's all about the 4 comma 1 this time. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so here's the bottom of my 4 comma 1. We'll have to pop out the CPU tray. And the Wi-Fi is in the back. Carefully lift that out. Okay, and there is the whole assembly as we can see right here. Um, we've got to take that out and that out and run a wire across it for the bridge. So I've got to figure out how the antennas work because OSXWiFi.com's uh, stuff is all um, messed up. Uh, they, I don't even remember what the instructions say on it. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'll uh, quickly remove these and then we'll figure out the antenna situation. All right, and we have everything out now. While we're at it, I'll uh, hook up the Bluetooth antenna and the uh, adapter, which I don't have a clue where it plugs in at. Well, we can plug the Bluetooth adapter in, the antenna anyway. So I'll run it under this. And basically it should just clear into that. Which I'll do off camera before I start cussing up a storm. Okay, so at this point I'm thinking I'm making this an, its own video because it is a pain to do. And you guys might have, uh, might want to learn this more um, while you're doing it. First off with the adapter cable for the uh, power to the USB, you, er, this is to the USB data lines, you have to use the original black wire here and then plug it into this. So you pull that off the module, then plug it into here, and that works. And then for the Bluetooth extension wire, you have to hook it in. I taped it so it wouldn't come loose. But these are extremely long. They're a lot longer than they should be. But anyway, next you have to hook up the card right here. And um, that's going to be the next fun thing to do here. 
Um, I've got to look in and figure this out. I am following another guide that's online. It looks like the gray wire needs to be on plus for this. And uh, the antennas go number three, then number one, then the Bluetooth, then two. Which, uh, it's, that's just a load of fun there, isn't it? So let's get down here and see what I can do here. This thing's still a little dusty. All right. This needs dusted out pretty bad, doesn't it? <coughs> yeah, I'll, I'll dust it out when I redo the CPUs. So anyway, we'll hook up the data line first, get that out of the way. It should hook up like this, I think. What did it say again? Yeah, it should hook up like this. Like that. Is that right? Yes. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. So it should look like that. Then we'll hook it in here. Like that. Get the antennas out of the way. Push it down. And screw it in with the screwdriver. And then, once again, it's three, then one, then the Bluetooth, etc., etc. Okay, after nearly losing my mind doing that, we have got the antennas plugged in the way the thing online says to do it, which is antenna number three then antenna number one, then Bluetooth, then um, antenna number two. And as we can see here, I uh, tried to manage the cables as best as I could. It doesn't look super great, but it will work, um, I hope. We'll uh, hook up the 4 comma one and see if we have Wi-Fi. Well guys, it looks like it was worth me so having my neighbors probably think I had Tourette's at one point because in, plugging those antennas up can be a pain in the rear end and I was losing my mind. Um, but yeah, the system works. Uh, as we can see, we've got Wi-Fi and we've got the, uh, it says it supports AC, so there's that card. And then for Bluetooth, we do have Bluetooth and it says it supports handoff. So that all worked. Now, yes, there are cheaper alternatives than OSXWiFi.com. Definitely much cheaper. Where you can use, uh, you can grab any old uh, adapter and a, uh, a Mac compatible Wi-Fi module. But OSXWiFi.com, when I did this, those adapters were, uh, the whole thing was like 100 bucks. At the time, that wasn't bad. Now they're around 170. That's, that's steep for this, where you can basically do it for like 20 bucks. Um, so I, I don't, I'm not uh, saying anything against OSXWiFi.com, but man, you guys need to drop your prices. That's, that's ridiculous. But anyway, I managed to get everything to work. Everything is working. Bluetooth works. Airport works. It's all successful, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this impromptu uh, video where I upgraded to um, a brand new uh, AC Wi-Fi card. So, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget, guys, I do have a Patreon now if you'd like to uh, support me. Um, there will be a link in the description and also on the end of the video. And uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been a Rock Mods video. Carefully lift that out.
hand there. That is probably not good. As I drop the most expensive part of the system. Oops. Well, it looks okay. Shoot. Man, that's dusty. <laughs> 